Hey, what's up, YT? Wanted to show you guys how to hook up uh, any lighting accessories off a 04 RMZ250 or an 04 KX250F or uh, KXF. This is basically the same bike. This is the year they collaborated in order to try to get a bike out to compete with uh, Yamaha. So this is the first year they made the 250F and as you know there there's some problems with these engines but I believe most of it was from overheating and I moved up to Connecticut and there was a lot of tight trails up here and I was having problems with overheating and getting stuck in muds or getting stuck on a, on a hill climb so I, I wanted to add a fan and did a little bit of research and there is 30 watts I believe I did this about a year ago, so it's not fresh in my memory, but I believe it's 30 watts available. This comes with a lighting stator, so you don't need to spend $150 and get a a new stator. Uh, the one that has that's on here, you can power a few things from. I'm going to try. Right now, I'm starting to hook up light. I just got this uh, Cherubase DHH, uh, DHH headlight. It's, all, it's not mounted right now, but... And I have, these are, I changed out the bulbs to LED bulbs on here. Because the, each bulb was 35 watts, the halogen or the regular ones that come with it. And that would have been just way too much. So these are only, I believe, 7 watts each. So that's 14 watts. And I don't know exactly how much the fan is drawing. Let's see if you can, this is the fan here. And, let's see if I can get a better shot of it there. But ever since I added the fan, I have not overheated once. I rode all last season with it. And ever since I added the fan, of also the maintenance that I've had to do in this engine is pretty much non-existent. I haven't had to adjust the valves once on this bike since I've had the fan. And before I had it, I was doing it seemed like a lot more frequently. I mean, it, it seemed like every few months I was doing it. Now, let me see. From the stator, there's gonna be two yellow wires. Those are gonna run up. I mounted the Trailtech regulator rectifier right here. And when I turn the handlebars, it doesn't hit. It comes really close, but it doesn't hit. There was already a mounting um, bracket there. Forget what it's for, but there there was some bracket there already, or or a hole there. So that's why I put that um, on there. So there's going to be two yellow wires. You're going to tap into the two yellow wires. There's a harness here, and tap into the two yellow wires and run them. Connect them to these the two yellow wires on here. It's not going to be long enough, so you're going to need to connect a wire in between. Then, let's see. There's also, these are the wires coming off. One's in, I believe this one is like an auxiliary. I'm going to try to hook the fan up to this one here. I mean, sorry, the light up to that one there. I believe that's an auxiliary one. Again, it's been a year since I've done this, but... I had this all taped up and whatnot, and I had to take it apart to hook up the light, so I figured this would be a good time to shoot the video. Now, you have to run a capacitor or a battery in order to stabilize the power. I tried it without it, and it was just acting too funky. I, wasn't, I was only getting like three volts, or I forget exactly what happened, but it wasn't working. So... I picked this, the biggest capacitor that I could find from Radio Shack. I know Radio Shack's going out of business like crazy right now, so you might not be able to uh, find this. It's about the size of a quarter diameter, and it's about two inches long. So I have the black wire from the regulator rectifier, which is converting that from AC power to DC power. And I, I, I tried a cheaper one on eBay, and it was a little funky. 
So I ended up splurging and getting the, the best one that they have. It has a little adjustable voltage here. I have some black electrical stuff over it, but you can adjust the voltage to fine tune it to get it how you want it. So the black goes to one side of the capacitor and then the red wire from the regulator rectifier goes to the other side of the capacitor. And then I have another black wire connect the top. So you have the black wire coming in and then another black wire going down. This is a thermostat. I don't know if you could see it here, but there's gonna be a plug on one end where the electrical goes in. That's gonna feed the power to it. Uh, this is basically just a switch. So I tapped into the, sorry. the radiator hose here and I just got like a brass T fitting. Let's see if I can get a picture of it right there. So normally this hose would just go from here to here and now I have a it tapped in down here. So this is where it's gonna get the hot water is going to hit the thermostat and when it gets hot enough or too hot I believe this thermostat is about 206 degrees and I believe it's off like a 96 Honda Civic but if you go on eBay and type in uh, thermostat or fan thermostat there's a lot of different ones. They look really similar to like this and just find one that has a temperature around 200 degrees. Um, I believe the, the hotter the better because I think it goes from like 192 to 206. It's somewhere in between that range. And I think on the older KTMs they used to do like the 190 somethings and they were turning on, staying on a lot and then they jumped it up. That, that's from the research that I remember. It might not be exact correct, but I would get the higher one that you could find. And this seemed to work perfectly. Like I said, I never have overheated ever since I had this, and I go through some pretty nasty technical stuff. So, again, this is going to be tapped in here. Now, one this thermostat is just like a switch. So once it gets hot enough, the, the, it's going to connect so it's separated when the heat when it heats up boom it's going to connect and that's going to allow the, po the power to go to one side to the other side and that'll turn the fan on so when it gets hot enough the fan's going to automatically turn on for you you don't need to have a switch this is your switch so again the black is coming into here and on the other side the black wire is going to have the input and the black wire the output is going to be run to your fan so I have, if you see two black wires here, probably should have done them different colors, but they're, they're two different thicknesses, so I can tell them apart. But one is the input, and then the output, again, is just going directly to the fan. Now the red wire coming from, not this one, this, is a, this one with the yellow stripe is the accessory. It's gonna be this, I believe it's a solid red wire. It's going to go to the other side of the capacitor or your battery. Again, if you're using a battery system, which I actually would recommend, if I had to do this over again, I would get a battery. They sell like 2,600 uh, milliamp hour batteries at on eBay for like $20, $30 now, and they're, they're really small. And especially if you're doing a headlight, that's going to give you more stable current so I would recommend to get a battery, just even if it's a smaller one. I believe it's a, not, not like a lead acid, not like an old school battery like that. Not like a car battery type, not one of those square batteries. It's going to be like, more look like a cell phone battery kind of. I'll, I'll try to provide a link to the type of battery. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but I'll try to provide a link in the description for some of the batteries that you could use. 
and then so the red goes in there and then I have onto the capacitor or the battery and then another the other red wire is going to go directly to the fan that obviously doesn't need to be switched you could reverse that I'm sure and have the red go to the thermostat and be the switch and the black go directly to the fan um, I'm sure that that would work fine as well so yeah it works great and since you this year is like the only year I believe now that the, the newer bikes you they have um, a more powerful stator for the all the electrical stuff on the newer bikes the fuel injection and whatnot but for this era of bike this is it's rare to come with a lighting stator so it's the one benefit of this year bike with all the disadvantages it has um, it's it's pretty cool that it has this otherwise to get a lighting stator you'd have to spend hundred and fifty dollars minimum so I'm also uh, I'm gonna try to use this accessory here for the, the headlight and I'll, I'll make another video for that once I get that going um, oh one last thing I put a small seven and a half amp fused in line in the red line um, on the positive side just in case there's some weird thing I don't blow out the fan some fluctuation in power that I don't uh, blow the fan out and I'll just pop the fuse instead so I recommend doing that as well I originally had a a relay in here that's why it's running over here but there so I already did the wiring but I probably should have just jumped it straight across to the fan over here rather than going all the way through there. All right, guys, if you have any questions, just feel free to ask uh, in the comment section. I love to help out any way I can. Ever since I did this to this bike, I just love it. It's super light. It's like 204 pounds dry. And um, I put a high, comp high compression piston in there. And this thing... Uh, Definitely is a KTM killer now, so I'll definitely love to hear your guys' stories. Uh, any lighting or electrical stuff you add to the bike to make it woods uh, ready. And again, give me a comment or a thumbs up, uh, and I'd appreciate that. All right, guys. Thanks. Take care.